student today we will discuss about branding i pranka trayan from arya college ludhiana pg department of commerce and management going to start this presentation firstly we will understand what is brand the name term sign symbol or design or combination of them intended to identify the goods or services of a single seller or group of seller to differentiate them from those of the competitors now let us discuss about branding branding provides goods and services with the power of brand it's all about creating differences between products marketing needs to teach the consumer who the product is by giving it a name and other brand elements to identify it at as well as what the product does and why consumer should care branding creates mental structures that help consumers organize their knowledge about products and services in a way that clarifies their decision making and in the process provide value to the firm in other words branding is the process of giving a meaning to a specific organization company products or services by creating and shaping a brand in a consumer's mind now what the next slide is brand element choice criteria how to choose a good brand element first memorable the brand should be easily mem uh, recall by the consumer such as lux lg taj etc second meaningful the brand should relate with products ingredient criteria category or type of person who might use the brand such as fair and lovely face cream close up etc third likable how aesthetically appealing is the brand name such as copio maharaja evoke such imaginary transferable the brand should introduce new product in same or different categories such as initially and online bookseller amazon.com was smart enough not to call itself books are us the amazon is famous as the world's biggest river and the name suggests the wide variety of goods that could be shipped an important descriptor of diverse range of products the company now sells second last is adaptable the brand should be adaptable and updated for example nano highly localized names and logos are less adaptive the brand should be protective legally protective for example xerox dalda etc now we will understand about brand elements there are six type of brand elements brand names slogans characters celebrities symbols logos internet address etc now we will understand this with an example brand name and logo everybody knows nike and their logo nike is a worldwide concept so nike is doing a really great job on their name and logo the brand awareness is great in the mind of their customers the brand is named after greek goddess of victory some people associate the nike logo with the goddess as well the they believe the swatch is one of the wings of goddess others believe the swatch refers to movement of an athlete or sound of a wing but the logo could be a sign of speed elegance as well one thing is certain all the guesses have to do with the sport next slogan the slogan of nike is really slow, strong they want to communicate the sport is for everyone you just have to do it nike not only uses the slogan just do it they use some other sub slogans as well for instance if you have a body you are an athlete or if you can control the cage control the pitch 
नाइकी इज फॉर एवरीबॉडी जस्ट डू इट सेलिब्रिटी और एथलीट नाइकी यूजेज डिफरेंट एथलीट्स इन देयर एड्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल रॉजर फ्रेडर एंड रोनाल्डो दे शो दिस एथलीट्स मेकिंग देयर वे टूवर्ड्स विक्ट्री दिस मेक्स मोस्ट ऑफ फर्स्ट टू बिलीव दैट वेन इट कम्स टू बाइंग शूज स्पोर्ट शूज क्लोथ्स और इक्विपमेंट वी जस्ट हैव टू स्टेप इन टू वन ऑफ द नाइकी शूज टू बिकम एन एथलीट एज वेल नाइकी नॉट ओनली यूजेज वन एथलीट पैकेजिंग नाइकी यूजेज देर ब्रांड नेम एंड स्लोगन ऑन देयर पैकेजिंग they use these elements for example on bags shoe boxes but they use different colors for their packaging for example some of their shoe boxes are red and some are brown they use the name and color at the time but difference is colors now the role of brand the brand identify the maker who makes this product and it also gives a legal protection protection to the company or organization and gives a good quality product and it also creates barrier for the firms to enter in the market and serves as a competitive advantage to the organization now there are most and valuable brands these are the brands which are most valuable in the world first apple microsoft google coca cola ibm till facebook and their brand values in 2014 now we will understand about brand equality brand equality given by david acker an expert on brand management defines brand equity as set of assets and liabilities linked to brand's name and symbols that add or subtract from value provided by the product or service to a firm or firm's customers in other words brand equity is money's worth of the brand For example, Godrej paid rupees eighty crore for Good Night and Hit because the brands were earning an annual profit of rupees thirteen crores at that time, and they commanded a market share of fifty percent. And the business was a high growth one. Godrej's assessment was mainly around the profit potential of Good Night and Hit. The prices assigned to brands and are the market value of the. brands this market value is an indication of overall brand equity the brand commands now brand portfolios what is brand portfolio it is the set of all brands and brand lines a particular firm offers for sale in a particular category or market segment the advantages of portfolios are it increases shelf presence and retailer dependence in the store it attracts consumers so seeking variety it is also increases internal competition within the firm and yields economics of scale in advertising sales merchandising and distribution and the next slide is of brand proliferation it is new entrants of the same firm appear with a new brand name in other words the firm has several brands in the same product line or category in the sense brand proliferation can be used as opposite of brand extension for example unilever has more than 25 brands of ice cream now brand strategies first functional brands a functional brand is bought to satisfy a functional need on part of consumer for example automobile cell phones and dish soap it is tied in the consumer's mind to specific product categories 
for example all automobiles share in the basic functionality they are designed to transport passengers from point a to point b and they all do the same thing in essentially the same manner because of this functional brands must differentiate from their competitors brand by stressing either better performance or better economy performance bmw is an automobile brand that maintains category leadership by spending heavily on products r and d bmw cars are known for their sophisticated and elegant styling as well as their high performance components and well bmw launches a new model it is positioned based on these qualities and bmw's marketing a symbol intensive brand is a brand adopted not only for its functional benefits but above all for the strong symbolism and significance that is able to transmit they serve important symbolic functions such as capturing refracting and legitimating social knowledge and values the sense of brand or product in these industries reside in its meaning for the consumer rather than its functions now branding strategies what are branding strategies it helps establish a product within the market and to build a brand that will grow and mature in a saturated marketplace making smart branding decisions up front is crucial since a company may have to live with the decision for a long time first company name in this case a strong brand name or company name is made the vehicle for a range of products for example mercedes black and decker or range of sub 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 uh, subsidiary brands such as cadbury dairy milk etc second individual branding each brand has a separate name putting into a de facto competition against other brands from the same company for example cool aid and tang are both owned by craft foods individual brand names naturally allow great greater flexibility by permitting a variety of different products of different quality to be sold without confusing the consumer's protection perception of what business the company is in or diluting high quality products next individual branding out uh, attitude branding and iconic brands it is the choice to represent a larger feeling which is not necessarily connected with the product or consumption of the product at all companies that use attitude branding include nike starbucks body shop etc iconic brands are defined as having aspects that contribute to the consumer's self expression and personal identity some brands have a strong identity that they become iconic brands such as apple harley davidson etc next is no brand branding a number of companies have successfully pursued no brand strategy recently by creating packaging that imitates generic brand simplicity no brand branding can be constructed as a type of branding as the product is made con species through the presence absence of a brand name next drive brands some suppliers of key components may wish to guarantee its own position by promoting that component as a brand in its own right for example intel positions itself in the pc market with the slogan intel insight brand extension and brand delusion the existing brand strong brand name can be used as a vehicle for new and modified products for example many fashion designing companies extended brands into fragrances shoes accessories furniture hotels etc frequently the product is not different than what is already in the market except it has a brand name mark 
the right of over extension is brand delusion which is when the brand loses its brand associations with the market segment product area or quality price etc multi brand strategy alternatively in a very saturated market a supplier can deliberately launch totally new brands in a apparent competition with its own existing strong brand to soak up some of the share of market the rationale is that having 3 out of 12 brands in such a market will give a greater overall share than having 1 out of 10 for example procter and gamble then the next is private labels it's also known as own brands or store brands that have become increasingly popular where the retailer has a particularly strong identity this own brand may be able to compete against even the strongest brand leaders and may outperform these products that are not otherwise strongly branded individual and organizational brands these are types of branding that treat individuals and organization as a product to be branded personal branding treats persons and the carriers as brands faith branding treats religious figures and organizations as a brand then the next one is sub branding it refers to introduction of subordinate brand that categorize a product line within the whole brand system for example nike air jordan is a sub brand of nike which is the parent brand then the next one is umbrella brand an umbrella brand or a family brand is a brand which is used across a range of product categories that is a set of related but distinct product Umbrella brand is very common across the FMCG sector. There are numerous advantages of using umbrella brand like increasing marketability, giving positioning to the product and reducing the cost of creation of new brand. For example, Apple is an umbrella brand for a set of distinct products like iPhone, iPad, MacBook, iWatch and other accessories etc. in the fmcg sector nivea accepts another umbrella brand with a variety of product like cream soap powder deodorant etc then the next is flanker brand is a new brand introduced in the market by a company that already has an established brand in the same product category the new brand is designed to compete in the category without damaging the existing items market share by targeting a different group of consumers this is also known as fighter brand or multi branding is used to achieve a larger total market share than one product could garner alone a premium brand that allows high quality at a higher price for example general mills market markets both gold medal and Robin Hood's brand flows. Gold medal serves as a premium product and commands a premium price for consumers who value quality. On the same, Robin Hood offers a lower price product with a slightly lower value of quality for those who are more heavily influenced by the price of products within the category. then the last one is co-branding co-branding is an arrangement that associates a single product or service with more than one brand name or otherwise associates a product with someone other than the principal producer the typical co-branding agreements involves two or more companies acting in cooperation to associate any of various logos color symbols or brand identifiers to a specific product that is contractually designed for this purpose a successful example of co-branding is senso coffee maker which associates the philips thank you